my name is Mrs. Leopold. Welcome to Harvey Elementary School and my fourth grade classroom. All right, you guys ready to get started? Yeah. All right, we're going to get started with our problem of the day today. Our problem of the day says, Matthew is training to join the track team. On Monday, he ran three and four tenths kilometers. On Tuesday, he ran one and four tenths kilometers farther than he did on Monday. How far did Matthew run on both days? Go ahead and quietly solve this problem at your desk. When you have an answer, give me a quiet thumbs up at your desk. Matthew is training to join the track team. On Monday, he ran three and four tenths kilometers. On Tuesday, he ran one and four tenths kilometers farther than he did on Monday. How far did Matthew run on both days? Go ahead. Again, give me a quiet thumbs up when you're done with your problem. that's how far she ran on Tuesday. The question asks, how far did she run both days? I'm going to give you about 30 more seconds to get through your problem. Not quite. This part is correct. Let's think about this number. See if you can fix that. So you said four plus four is eight. Three plus one is four, good. Four, eight plus four is 12. Keep the two, carry the one. One plus four is five. Five plus three is eight. Where'd that one come from? Oh. About 10 more seconds to solve your problem. Good job, sweetie, good job. Good label too, good job. Good job, sweetie. All right, three, two, one, pencils down. Who would like to raise their hand and tell me what's the first thing you did with this problem? The first thing you did, Fatima? I added three and four tenths plus one and four tenths plus eight and two tenths. Okay, good. So why did you add three and four tenths plus one and four tenths, Fatima? Very good, because we don't know how far Matthew ran on Tuesday. We're trying to figure out how far he ran on both days. We know on Monday he ran three and four tenths kilometers. On Tuesday he ran one and four tenths kilometers farther than he did on Monday. So Fatima added those two numbers together to figure out how far he ran on Tuesday. And what did you get, Fatima? How far did he run on Tuesday? Very good. He ran four and eight tenths kilometers on Tuesday. Are we done with our problem? No. Why not? Why are we not done? Zalea? Because it's a problem. How much did he run on both days? Good. We're trying to figure out how much he ran on both days. So now what do we need to do? Now what, DJ? Um, add four and eight tenths uh -huh. Very good, we need to add together three and four tenths, which he ran on Monday, plus our four and eight tenths, which he ran on Tuesday. And what did you get when you added those two numbers together? How far did he run on both days? Milton? Eight and two tenths. Very good, eight and two tenths what? What should our label be? Chase? Eight and two, what did you say? What should our label be? Eight and two tenths. Oh. Very good, kilometers. He ran eight and two tenths kilometers on both days. Good. All right, go ahead and keep your pencils down. Now we're gonna move into our game, Alike and Different. Thank you for having your pencils down. I have two equations on the board. I'm gonna give you about 20 seconds to figure out how these two equations are alike, how they are the same, and how these two equations are different. What is different about them? Take about 20 seconds. I don't want to see any hands just yet. Just think in your head. What's the same about these two problems? What's different about these two problems? Go ahead and take your 20 seconds. All right, 
when you have an alike or different, raise your hand. Let's start with alike. How are these two problems the same? Nyla. They both have 12 in it. Okay, so we have 12 divided by 3 and 120 divided by 3. So we can see our 12 and our first number is our true 12. Our 120 has a 12, but it's in a different place, right? Okay, good. How else are these problems the same? Kennedy. They both have threes. Very good. We're dividing both of these problems by three. The divisor in both of these problems is three. Good. Let's do one more alike. How else are these problems alike, Aiden? They are both division problems. You are exactly right. Good job. All right. Now let's move on to different. How are these problems different? What's different about these two equations, Torian? Very good. Our dividend in the first number is a two-digit dividend. We have 12. In the second number, our dividend is 120. That's a three-digit dividend. Good. That's how they're different. Okay? How else are they different? What else is different about these two problems? Chase? They don't have the same answer. They don't have the same answer. And why not, Chase? Because 12 divided by 3 is 4 and 120 divided by 3 is 40. Good. And how did you know that? Okay, because you knew that 12 divided by 3 is 4. 120 is just 10 times that. So our uh, answer, our quotient, would not be 4. It would be 40 for 120 divided by 3. So you're exactly right, Chase. Those have two different answers. Good work. All right, now here's what we're going to do. We're going to do some division problems with Skittles. Yay! <laughs> Exciting. All right. So give me a second, and I am going to pass out a baggie of Skittles and some napkins. Do not touch the Skittles or napkins until I ask you to do so. Understand? Yes. Okay. There you are. about the skill of division for the past couple of weeks. Today, we are going to actually practice dividing with our Skittles. What I would like you to first do is go ahead and flip over your papers. Okay, now the first thing I would like you to do is I would like you to take one napkin and I would like it to like, excuse me, like you to place it in front of your group. Then very carefully, remember Skittles are round, so they're going to roll. Very carefully take the Skittles out of your baggie and count how many Skittles are in that baggie. I'm going to give you about one minute to do this. Very carefully count how many Skittles are in that baggie. Remember, Skittles roll. Do it carefully. 17. You got your number? Okay. You can fill it in on your first question. 14, 15. 16, 17. Yeah, 18. Okay. No, it's 17. Are you counting out loud, Dorian, so everyone can hear you? I don't hear you. Wow. <laughs> 10, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 17, do you guys agree? All right. Three, two, one. Voices off, eyes on me. Who can raise their hand and tell me how many Skittles did you have in your bag? How many Skittles did you have in your bag, Michael? 17. 17. Very good. On your first question, please write you had 17 Skittles in your group. 17 Skittles total. All right. Now, here's where we're going to get a little different. I have some groups of fours and some groups of threes. On your second question, write how many members are in your group. Include yourself, including yourself. Go ahead and write how many members are in your group, including yourself. And don't forget your name. Okay, does everyone have 
question one and question two answered. Yes. Fantastic. Okay, pencils down. Now, do you guys want to eat the Skittles? Yes. Okay, so here's what we're going to have to do to eat the Skittles. I need you to fair share them with your group. Meaning, hang on, don't touch them until I say go. Meaning, every single group member needs to have the same amount of Skittles on their napkin. We need to make sure it's fair. One person can't have more than another person. So I'm going to give you about a minute to work with your group to see how many Skittles each of you get. Now let's use our smart fourth grade brains. Do you think you should eat the Skittles? No. No, we are not eating the Skittles until I give you permission to do so. Understand? Yes. Great, go ahead and fair share those Skittles with your group. And then him, then you, then me, then you. So let's do this. Let's put them more in the middle. You guys can stand up if you can't quite reach. Okay. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So how many napkin or how many Skittles do you have, Nyla? Four. How many Skittles do you have, Layla? Five. Is that fair? No. No, that's not fair. So you need four. How many Skittles do you have? Four. How many Skittles do you have? Four. four. Good. So each of you have four Skittles. What are we gonna do with this Skittle? It's a little bit one. Oh, so we can't fair share it, right? Because then it wouldn't be fair if one of you got five and the rest of you got four, right? All right. Very good. All right. How many Skittles did each of you get? Four. Four, and what about this one? Remainder one. Oh, can you fair share it? No. No, you can't fair share it. So that is our leftover Skittle that wouldn't be fair to give to anybody, right? Good work. What happened to your other Skittle? Oh, put it on the napkin. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so how many Skittles did you guys have? We have four each, and then how many did you have left over? One, very good. Okay, and then what about that one? That's the remainder one. That's left over, right? Okay. All right. Three, two, one. Hands off your Skittles, eyes on me. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, Fatima. Thank you, Kennedy. Thank you, class. All right. Who can explain to me what just happened? You had 17 Skittles that you needed to share between your group. What happened, Ernest? We had one left. What do you mean you had one left? Sure. Okay, so how many Skittles did you each end up with on your napkins? Four. Four, very good. Give me a thumbs up if you ended up with four Skittles on your napkin. I know my group back there is a little different because we have a group of three. All right, thumbs down. You each had four Skittles on your napkin, and then what did you have left over? Two. One. One, except for my group back there. I know you guys are a little bit different. You, if you had a group of four, then you had one Skittle left over. Would it be a fair share if someone got that one Skittle? No. No, it would not be a fair share. So you leave that Skittle in the middle so that way everyone has the same amount of Skittles, correct? Yes. Okay, great. In math, when we are dividing, when we fair share things, and we have a number that we can't equally fair share, the leftovers are called a remainder. What are they called? Remainder. Remainder. Very good. So in this problem, you each got four Skittles with a remainder of one Skittle. One Skittle is left over. So let's think about our division statement that would represent this problem. How many Skittles did you start off with? 17. 17, very good. And I know my group back here, your, your answer is going to be a little bit different. I will address you in just a second. The rest of you, you had how many group members that you needed to split your group up? Or split? Four. How many? Four, very good. So you had 17 total Skittles divided up into a group of, into a group of four equals how many Skittles did each of you get? Four. Good. And how much was left over? One. One. Good. So we would say 17 divided by four is four Skittles each with a remainder of one. Now, we don't write out the whole word remainder. We just put an R to make our life simpler. So it would be 17 divided by four is R, sorry, 17 divided by four is four Remainder one, R one. Go ahead and write that on question number four on your paper. Four. 
All right, three, two, one. Now with your group, I would like you to work on question number five, and I would like you to draw a picture that represents what just happened. With my exception of my group over here, how many group members did you have? Four. four. So you should give yourself four circles for the four group members you shared between. And then you should fair share those 17 Skittles. My group back here, Milton, Kaylin, Zalea, how many circles are you guys going to have? Three. Very good. Go ahead and write or draw your division statement. We're up here, sweetie. So how many group members did you have? Four. So look, give yourself four people. This is Zalea, Layla, Mackenzie, Chase. There you go. Now fair share your 17 Sorry, Nyla. <laughs> Good job. Okay, so how many group members did you have, Jordan? Four, so give yourself four circles. Michael, how many group members did you have? Four, so you should only have four circles. How many total circles did you have? You guys did a great job fair sharing. You can eat your Skittles. While you're eating your Skittles, I'm going to give you another baggie of Skittles. Don't touch the new baggie. Got it? Yeah. You can enjoy what you just fair shared. Don't touch the new baggie. Okay? Yeah. Great. Thank you so much for joining my fourth grade class, learning all about division with remainders.